like an idiot. Um, quite frustrating because they were two pretty good episodes. Um, yeah, basically we made our way to the nether because I was um, trying to get myself some soul sand, which I, you know, I found an area where I can see soul, soul sand. It's, it's down there somewhere, but there's no way I can, can get down there safely. And to be honest, um, well, we've, we've, we've done a lot, to be fair. We have done quite a bit in the last two quote-unquote episodes. Uh, let's, let's head back. Because I do actually need to show you. I've got a different idea that I want to do anyway. I set up my nether portal quite far away from my main area because I don't want things to come out of it and try to kill me. Um, that would be far less than ideal. And we've done a little bit of work with the skeleton support. That was basically what I, um, that's basically what I was going through in episode 10 and episode 11, but here we are back at episode 10 with a bunch of stuff that you've missed, but that's, you know, well, that's not really the end of the world. Um, this is how far I got with my skeleton spawner. I've decided in my infinite wisdom that it is going to be far too much trouble right now for me to try and turn this into a super efficient skeleton farm so I'm gonna go with my own very lazy very bad let's put it that way skeleton spawner design um, I'm not gonna go get soul sand yet I'm only gonna get soul sand when I know I can go into the nether and safely navigate it without the fear of essentially dying. Um, I really, you know, as is probably the case with a lot of people in the world, I just don't want to die. It's like, just not great. It's really not nice. Dying is uh, very rarely um, a good option. Uh, <laughs> Jokes aside, I, yeah, I, I want to avoid it at all costs. Um, I want to keep this series going for as long as possible for you guys, because I know that you're all enjoying it, and so am I, so something as risky as going into the nether just for a bit of soul sand for our XP farm, I don't think it's worth it, I, I fundamentally don't think it's worth it, uh, you might disagree, um, but even if you do disagree, I'm afraid I'm going to have to disagree with that, because we've got to keep this series going, guys, we really do. It's been super fun already, um, and so my plan, I'll show you, I'll show you my plan for the skeleton spawner, is going to be something a bit more rudimentary, and I'm talking proper, proper rudimentary. We're going to enclose it all in stone, as you would do normally anyway. Um, it's going to be something that's going to be fairly easy to tear down when we eventually want to upgrade it, because no doubt once we up, we will want to upgrade it. Uh, let's just put all of this across like that. Make sure we all enclose. Now, let's just give ourselves us an escape route for now. Ah. See, they are still spawning in there.
right, this might not work, this might not work, but if I cut a hole all the way along, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I put a water source here, it'll float all the way along, won't it? Yeah. But actually, we don't want to do that, we want to put it like this.
so quickly right now and you have no idea <laughs> oh my god it's all right it's fine Ooh, okay right so back to what i was saying
working is it ourselves killed. Okay, that's what I needed to do. That's what I needed to do. <laughs> we need to be quick about this. just let's block it all off and let's see what's happening in there oh he fell in but they're like they're like getting angry at each other Let's 
let's let's do it. Let's do it here. Yeah, I don't even know why we've done it like this otherwise. Right. We don't. We don't need this. Oh, I see. That's just a good way of seeing where they're going.